the palmaris longus is seen as a small tendon between the flexor carpi radialis and the flexor carpi ulnaris, although it is not always present. The muscle is absent in about 14% of the population. However, this number varies greatly in African, Asian, and Native American populations. Absence of this muscle does not have an effect on grip strength. The palmaris longus muscle can be palpated by touching the pads of the fifth finger and thumb whilst flexing the wrist. The tendon, if present, will be visible in the midline of the anterior wrist. Structure It is a slender, fusiform muscle, lying on the medial side of the flexor carpi radialis. It arises from the medial epicondyle of the humerus by the common flexor tendon, from the intermuscular septum between it and the adjacent muscles, and from the antebrachial fascia. It ends in a slender, flattened tendon, which passes over the upper part of the flexor retinaculum, and is inserted into the central part of the flexor retinaculum and lower part of the palmar aponeurosis, frequently sending a tendon a slip to the short muscles of the thumb. Equals innovation equals, the palmaris longus is supplied by the median nerve. Equals variation equals, the palmaris longus muscle is a variable muscle. The most common variation is its absence. Several in vivo and in vitro studies have documented the prevalence of absence of the PL tendon in different ethnic groups. Between 5.5 and 24% of Caucasian populations and 4.6 to 26.6% .6 of Asian populations have been reported to lack the PL tendon. There are also variations related to its form. It may be tendinous above and muscular below or it may be muscular in the center with a tendon above and below. Or it may present two muscular bundles with a central tendon. Or finally it may consist solely of a tendinous band. The muscle may be double, or missing entirely. Slips of origin from the coronoid process or from the radius have been seen. Partial or complete insertion into the fascia of the forearm, into the tendon of the flexor carpi ulnaris and pisiform bone, into the scaphoid, and into the muscles of the little finger have been observed. Clinical significance. Equals use in tendon grafts equals, the palmaris longus muscle is the most popular for use in tendon grafts for the wrist due to the length and diameter of the palmaris longus tendon, and the fact that it can be used without producing any functional deformities. When a tendon becomes ruptured in the wrist, the palmaris longus tendon may be removed from the flexor retinaculum and grafted to take the place of the ruptured tendon. The tendons most commonly replaced or supplemented by the palmaris longus tendon when ruptured are the long flexors of the fingers and the flexor pollicis longus tendon. The palmaris longus muscle itself is a weak flexor, and provides no substantial flexing force that would inhibit movement in the wrist if its tendon were cut and moved elsewhere. If the palmaris longus muscle is not available for harvesting in an individual, the anatomically analogous plantaris muscle in the leg may be taken instead. Using the patent Euro unregistered trademark s own tendon is advantageous, as it does not introduce foreign material into the body. Additional images. See also. Palmaris brevis muscle. References. This article incorporates text in the public domain from the 20th edition of Gray's Anatomy. External links, minus 1,019,936,742 Itk Notebook, Central.